All right, Ku is here. Okay, now our, in our previous class, we stopped at the Moody chart. This is a very important chart uh, that you need for your test and your final exam, okay? Um, your test number two, you're going to deal with Moody chart. Okay, Moody chart. So this chart is available in the Moodle, so you can download it just for your practice or for your uh, normal revision. Eh? So this is the Moody chart. It gives you three axes, uh, friction factor on the left, bottom there, Reynolds number. On the left is the ratio between your roughness, surface roughness divided by the diameter of your pipe. Okay, so we have three axes there. So I think you cover this one during your uh, 3179. Uh, there is one chapter regarding the loss in the pipe also. Um, so we stop at this chart previously and these two equation. So you can either use a graphical method or in the test you see if graphical method means you use graph to solve. Okay. Or if the test mentioned you need to use numerical analysis, numerical means you use equation. For example, there are, these are the two equation. Same, you able to find the friction factor F, E over D. Uh, this epsilon is the surface roughness. Normally, you refer to a table inside the Moody chart. Okay, this epsilon is the value that you see under the Moody chart, so 8.1. Huh? So if you download the Moody chart, uh, the Moody chart in the Moodle, uh, in, uh, below the Moody chart, you see a table 8.1. So this, this is the equivalent roughness that you use to, for your calculation. And for throughout this module, we'll use Unix SI. So re remember that we're using Unix SI. Don't look don't pick the wrong number on the left is unit uh, imperial unit fit we're using mm here okay all right so we will look at a few example on using a uh, chart and then we will look at a few tutorial question so for to calculate uh, uh, friction inside a pipe uh, this slide is very important so you need to know what is Moodle uh, Moody chart what these two equation uh, that can help you to calculate uh, F, friction factor, uh, and then the Reynolds number. Reynolds number you can calculate. Uh, okay. So these two equation, actually the Carabrook and the Harlan actually help you to calculate the F. And this actually is quite lengthy if you even you substitute the, the, the value, you still need to solve the log uh, equation. Okay, you still need to solve log equation. Helen is quite direct, but uh, Carol Brook, you have two F on in both sides. Huh? You, for Carol Brook, you have uh, F, square root of F on one side, square root of F in another side. So you need to solve the log problem you need to rearrange the equation in log uh, equation, then you can only solve for the square root of f. For Helen, is quite direct. You just substitute the value, then you get your square root of f value. Okay, let's look at the application. Uh, how do we use the Moody chart and also the equation? All right, now if you look at the question uh, that on your screen now, uh, and you read through the problem statement, you see that the air, the medium is air, air under standard condition. Standard condition means 15 degrees C, atmospheric pressure, uh, yeah. And then for, uh, uh, at sea level, uh, through the 4.0 mm diameter, uh, drawn tubing, okay. So drawn tubing is the information that you need if you use stable, 8.1 under the Moody chart. So under here, you have revert steel, concrete, so on. And then based on this tutorial question, it's a draw tubing. So you are using uh, equivalent roughness epsilon here. You will be using 0 0.0015 in your calculation. 
So you, you will take this epsilon divided by diameter, you get the axis on the right hand side. Because axis on the right hand side is epsilon divided by d. Epsilon you read from the table just now, and the d is the diameter of the pipe. So if you go, go back to the question, so you have a 4 mm diameter drawn tubing with a velocity 50 uh, meter per second. So uh, there's a stroke here. For such condition, flow would be normally turbulent. However, if precaution is taken to eliminate the disturbance, it may possible to become uh, laminar. Okay, so you need to do uh, two. You need to solve two two question here. One is determine the pressure drop, which is the delta p. Uh, if the flow is laminar, okay. If the flow is laminar, and repeat the same calculation, determine the pressure drop if the flow is turbulent. Now, by looking at this question, you need to recall what is Reynolds number. Okay, what is Reynolds number? So, I I did ask you to memorize one magic number. Okay, previously, who oh, I asked already uh, to memorize the magic number. Is it Dinesh or Rush? Is it Dinesh? I asked you to memorize, right? Dinesh, are you there? Yes, sir. What is the magic number for Reynolds number to differentiate lamina or turbulent? 2,100, sir. Okay, 2,100. Uh, 4,000. 4,000. So below 2,000 is what? Below 2,100 is what? Turbulent. Ah, below is turbulent. Ah? Below below is lamina. Okay. So 2,100 is lamina, sir. For below 4,000 is turbulent. No. More than 4,000 is turbulent. Oh, more than 4,000, yeah, yeah, turbulent. More than 4,000 turbulent. Less than 2,100 is lamina, okay? Mm. So this is the, the parameter that we expect you to write in your answer, okay? So first one, when you look at the question, uh, whether it is uh, ask you about the friction, ask you about the flow, first steps, in the answer, calculate the Reynolds number first. Okay, calculate the Reynolds number. There's an equation in the, even though you forget there is an equation under the Moody graph. So Reynolds number equal to rho VD divided by mu. Okay, rho VD divided by mu. So you have the density, uh, velocity, uh, diameter, and kinematic viscosity. Okay, so you already seen what is test one like. So under the test one, uh, test one uh, test paper behind there, there is a lot of table. So you can look at the density value uh, and kinematic value in the test one paper. Okay, uh, you will be seeing the same in your final. So I mean the the reference uh, data. Huh? Okay. Then if you look at the table for standard condition for air density will be 1.23 kilogram over meter cube. Viscosity, this is a kinematic uh, viscosity. Sorry, this dynamic viscosity. Uh, 1.79, 10, negative 5 Newton second over meter square. This one you extract from table. This one from table. Medium is N. Under standard temperature, which is T equal 15 degrees C. Pressure is one atmospheric pressure. Okay, you refer to the table. All right, and then Reynolds number. We mentioned already just now, you look at below the Moody table, uh, Moody chart. Reynolds number equal to rho VD divided by mu. Rho given in the table, velocity in the question, 50 meter per second. Diameter, a uh, common error is student forget to change unit 
mm into meter. Okay. This is the area where students start to make mistakes. Right. So diameter change to meter, uh, mm to meter. Kin uh, dynamic viscosity is given in a table. So you can calculate uh, Reynolds number. All right. Who are you there? Uh, yes, sir. Can you calculate the Reynolds number for the class? What is the Reynolds number? The rest you can use your calculator to to cross check a uh, cool answer. I'll give you 30 seconds or one minute to solve this one. Tell me what is the value of your Reynolds number? One point three seven four three times ten power seven. Three point. One point three seven four three times ten power seven. Okay, hold on there. Yeah. One point seven. Three seven. Uh, three seven four three. One point seven. Three seven or. Seven. Three seven three seven. Three seven. Ten power. Uh, nine, ten power of seven. seven. One point three seven four. Is it? Yep. Okay. So for this module, use a minimum four decimal. Ah, uh, three decimal, please. Huh? Other agree? Do you get this number? Or you get the another one? So I got 10 to the power of 4. 10 to the power of 4. Yes. Okay. Dinesh, what do you get? One moment, sir. I'm calculating. Cool. Do you change the diameter into unit SI? Ah, uh, I forget change to meter. Uh. Calculate again. Raj, are you there? Do you get which answer? Yes, sir. What is your answer? Raj, what is your answer for Reynolds number? Wait, does it? Uh, yeah, so the 10 power of 4. So is it the same 1.374? Is it the same? Yeah, the, the front one is same, the behind one wrong. Yes, yeah, sir. So what do you get? 10 power of 4. The 1.3743 times 10 power, power of 4. Okay, so again, uh, uh, this is already uh, okay. So you get Reynolds number will be 1.3 10 power 4. Huh? So you will be 1379. So Dinesh, what is this Reynolds number tell you? It is laminar or turbulent? Turbulent. Okay, correct. So it is turbulent. Huh? So in test, these are the, I tell you how to score marks. First, calculate Reynolds number. Formula itself, one mark. Answer, you, you substitute. Uh, substitute, you get one to two marks. You write uh, Reynolds number equal to 1.23 times 50 times uh, 0 0.04 divided by 1.7, uh, 10 power negative 5. You get one to two marks. You calculate the final answer for Reynolds number, you get 
1 to 2 marks also. Then you explain what is this number means. You write a Reynolds number more than 4,000. Then you write turbulent. Okay, you get 1 to 2 point for explanation. So minimum mark you can get by just these four steps. Okay, you will get minimum 1, 2, 3, 4. Four marks just to explain what is Reynolds number. Okay. Right. So we know that is is turbulent, but the question divide into two sections. One is ask you what if the flow is laminar. Another one is turbulent. Okay. So there's an equation in the Darcy friction factor just now. So we learned that if the condition is laminar. You can straight away use the friction factor of 64 divided by Reynolds number. Okay, so if it's laminar cases, the friction factor straight away you use F equal to 64 divided by Reynolds number. You already calculated the Reynolds number already. Substitute this number into here. You take 64 divided by 13700, you get 0 0.00467. After that, you substitute into the uh, delta P or pressure change equation. We just give you this one. We cover about this equation previously. You have delta P equal to F divided by uh, F L divided by D, and the kin uh, uh, kinematic uh, not kinematic uh, dynamic pressure half rho v squared. Okay, this is dynamic pressure. All right, you have the V, you have the rho, length is given, 0 0.1 section, L given, diameter given, again diameter is in meter. All right. I give you hints already. Uh. This is the part where student make mistake. Uh. And it is purposely we put the diameter in other unit. Sometimes we put in CM, we purposely put in CM because we know that there will be one student every semester who will show these mistakes. All right. So if you want to add to the statistic, please do so. But I don't hope la, this this cohort or this cohort can break the curse. La. Right. So F you already calculated, you just substitute, you will find delta P equal to 0.79 kilo pascal. Unit is important. For example, if this one is two marks and you accidentally you do not put me the correct unit, you only score one mark for the delta P. Okay, two marks for the complete answer with the unit, but if you do not give me unit, I will give you one mark only, or 50% discount from the total marks. Okay, any questions so far for the A? It's quite direct. Huh? Then, we go for uh, the standard calculation also if you want to try. Another calculation will be uh, you straight away uh, substitute this whole thing into here. And then you rearrange the equation. You still get 32 mu and so on. Uh, you will get 0.79 kilopascal also. Okay, it's the same. Huh? One is in kilo. One is in Newton meter square because Pascal equal to Newton over meter. What is Pascal? Pascal is pressure. What is pressure? Pressure is force divided by area. What is the unit for force? Newton. What is the unit for area? Meter square. B, if it's turbulent, so turbulent, 
you need to use table to calculate. So table, the material is drawn tubing. Okay, because the question mentioned drawn tubing in the question here. Okay, so you use this table, you are using 0 0.0015, you calculate the ratio with the D because we're going to use a Moody chart. So you take the epsilon or equivalent roughness. This one you read from table divided by diameter. Diameter is, again, uh, this also another area of uh, calculation error. If you read from table is in mm, so you need to take 0 0.0015 mm because in this table is mm your diameter you need to use mm eh? here you don't use meter because it's just it is a ratio ratio is without unit and you want to cancel unit the unit must be same so the diameter in this question that you use is 4 mm diameter. So 4 mm diameter, if you calculate, you take 4, uh, 0 0.0015 divided by 4 to calculate the ratio of epsilon divided by D. Uh. This is another area that I also I seen in the since the previous semester, uh, not since the previous two or three semester. Also, there will be one student that up to year three already is still confusing about the unit. Okay, so this is the ratio, ratio without unit. So in this in this case, you use mid mm divided by mm. Okay, so this is one of the mistakes area. Also, be careful. All right, you substitute value, you get Reynolds number. Uh, uh, no, so the value you get one number. You already calculated the Reynolds number already. So Reynolds number 1.7310 power 4. Okay. Why you need to change to index because in the in the Moodle charts later on, I will show you, is in the 10 power something. Okay. So you I paste the Moody chart on the screen now. So I'm gonna put the two number on the screen. You take, you calculate the ratio between the roughness and the diameter, you get 0 0.00375. So is the one on the right hand side. You have three axes on the model. So this one, 0 0.00375, it is somewhere, my mouse is missing in the, So it is somewhere here. Okay. How you how you calculate? You take 0.2 and 0.4 and then you calculate how many uh, you have. So 0.2 is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5, this one is 2, each one is 0 0.002. So you calculate lah. So there is this one is one point, I uh, know. 0.75 is about 4. Lah, huh? If you round it up, it will be 0 0.0004. So it's actually is this, this value. Okay. So you take this value. Okay. Then you look at the Reynolds number. You use this line, 0 0.004. Who you understand uh, why you use 0 0.004? Why you look at uh, 0 0.004? Uh, you understand? Uh? Yes. Okay, good. Then, uh, also one of the mistakes, students don't know how to read the graph for the Reynolds number. So Reynolds number 1.7, 10 power 4. You look at the... Below here, already labeled for you already. 
First one is 10 power 3, 10 power 4, 10 power 5, 10 power 6, 10 power 7. So for example, this line here is 1 times 10 power 4. This line is 2 10 power 4. Even it gives you the hints here already. Then this one, what does it mean? Is 4 10 power 4. Dinesh, what is this number 4 mean? Number 4 is 10 power what? 5, sir. Mm, okay. So since you know it, I will just put in the graph there. So there's one line here represent about 1.4. Okay, about 1.4. So if you go to graph here, this is one, uh, one, one times 10 power 4. Uh, this is 10 power 2. So you, you, you divide. Lah. So it's, uh, this one is 1.5. This one is 1.5, then 2, okay? Because it's half, nah, half of it. So this one is 1.5, and 2. So it's somewhere here, 1.4 is about here. Okay, I marked it wrong already. Eh? So this should be somewhere here, okay? Yeah, so 1.4 is about here, okay, about here. And then you combine the intersection of uh, 0, 0 0.04, oh, just now I labeled the wrong one. It should be 0 0.004, it should be this one. Okay, so this one, you get this one. Who pay attention? Ah. Just now I labeled the long number. Ah. Who do you notice that I mentioned the wrong number just now? Uh, 0 0.004, right? Yeah. Just now I mentioned this one, right? Yeah. Ah. Why you say this one correct? Okay, pay attention. Huh? So what you do is that you combine the, these two lines together. So you follow this line up and then intersection, you will get some value around 2.0.28 around that. Okay. So if you plot the if you plot the line, I will just put here. Maybe I'll put here. Okay, so if you plot the line, okay, you will see something intersection between the Reynolds number and the uh, uh, roughness ratio, then you pull to the left, you'll get some around 0.28. Anyone of you uh, not sure how to use booty chart? Okay, sometimes you enter from the left, sometimes you enter from the right, sometimes you enter from below. There will be some value here missing. Okay, in this case, you, you are given the epsilon and D, so you calculate the right hand side axis. Reynolds number, you calculate, you enter these two, you combine these two together, then you project to the left, you will get around 0 0.028. Okay, 0 0.028. The location of this arrow is a bit off because uh, uh, if you use a PowerPoint, then it's very hard to clearly pinpoint the location, but the idea is there. Okay, you use the X two axis to combine together, you project to the left, you'll get 0 0.028. Okay, once you get 0 0.028, you apply to the, again, 
delta p equation again. Uh, for section B, you use the friction factor from the graph, 0 0.028, you substitute inside there. This one, length given 0 0.01 meter, D given again, D here, use meter. Uh, and then this one half, rho given in the table, V, 50 meter per second. You calculate delta P, you'll get 1.07 kilo Pascal. Okay, so this is a quite straightforward, okay, example. And of course, you can use uh, Helen equation uh, to, to find the F, okay? So that you, you'll find that if you use the Helen equation, uh, then you'll arrive at quite near 0 0.029 or 28. Okay. To just to cross check if the number is correct or not on the graph. Okay. Yeah. But normally in the test or final exam, you need Moody chart. I will ask you to print beforehand, uh, before the exam, you need to print out the Moody chart. And then you, you need to label, you need to identify the value by all these lines. You need to show me all these lines. You need to circle your ratio, uh, mark where is your Reynolds number, draw the line, draw the arrow and write what is your F. Okay, normally if you circle this one, you get one mark, this one, one mark, this one, one mark, and the answer is one mark. Graph itself, minimum, you get four mark for graph. Okay. Substitute, you get all, you can double check. Sometimes I will give you some points. I will ask you to use Helen equation to prove or to check what is the error between Moody chart and Helen equation. Okay, of course, I won't mention Helen equation. I will mention what is the error between graphical method and numerical method. So, Moody chart is graphical method. Helen equation is numerical method. Again, uh, I won't, in the test, coming test of final exam, I will not mention Moody chart or I'm not, I will not mention Helen equation. Um, maybe I will ask you to compare the differences between graphical method and numerical method. Graphical is Moody chart. Helen equation is numerical. So for example, if I ask you to compare 0 0.028 from the chart and 0 0.029, uh, 0.0289 with the Moody chart. We move on, second example. All right, so this example asks you to calculate the head loss friction due to friction and the power required to maintain the flow in the horizontal circular pipe. Diameter, again, you can see, we purposely try to trick you with MN. Okay, now this is also one of the tactic we use to trace to test whether you're aware or not, okay? So and then you have a length of 750 meter long. Dynamic viscosity is given. Sometimes we won't give you the symbol, but we will use uh, wording instead, okay? Dynamic viscosity, 1.4, 10, uh, 10 power negative three Newton second meter square. Uh, flow at the rate, there are two flow rate there. Okay, one is four liter per minute, 30 meter per minute. So here also tells you how to convert liter to meter cube. Okay. So just to memorize, one meter cube equal 1000 liter. Dinesh, I ask you to memorize this one. Eh? The second equation I ask you to memorize for the class. It's important. Eh? 
one meter cube equal to 1000 liter. That will help you to solve the question. Important uh, conversion unit. All right. Okay, and for the B, you give you uh, assume that the absolute roughness is uh, 0 0.00008 absolute roughness with this still on epsilon value. Okay. So, how do you solve? It is soft, it is flow, is laminar or turbulent. Uh, Dinesh, can you calculate the rest? You check whether the answer is connect, correct or not. Dinesh, what is the flow condition of this question? What is the Reynolds number and whether it's laminar or turbulent? Okay, I'll give you one minute to solve this question. See, I'll give you the equation. Rho VD divided by mu. And this one is water. Okay. Okay, maybe I go ahead and give you the answer. So you need to calculate the V, all right? The next question is, you don't know about the V, right? You don't know about the V, but how you extract V from the question? What is four liter over meter per second, uh, over meter? Four point liter over minute. So how can you link Q with the V? Q equal to velocity times area. This is Q. Your Q is in liter per minute. Dinesh, convert this one, four liter per minute in meter cube per second. What is the value? What is the value? Surely you calculate as a backup. Dinesh, what is your Q? Dinesh, are you there? Yes, sir. What is the conversion formula I asked you to memorize just now? Uh, one meter cube mm -hmm. equals to 1,000 liter. Mm -hmm. So, convert. Convert back to meter per second. What is the answer? 6.667 mm -hmm. times 10 power of negative 5. 10 power negative 5. Yeah. Surely correct or not? Your answer also same? Is it the same? No, sir. What, what answer you get? Um, 4 liter per minute I got... Um, 0 0.067 meter cube per second. Okay, so 
So how you get 0 0.006? Do you divide by 60? Yes, sir. Okay, you take 4. 4 liter equal to how many meter cube? Equal to, you divide by 1000. You get 0 0.004. <laughs> You divide by 60 seconds because one minute have 60. You divide by 60. You get 6.67 10 power negative 5. Ah, yes, sir. Right. So make sure all of you know how to calculate all this. All right, I'll show you the answer. So Q equal to VA, you calculate, you get about that. Lah, huh? So this one I give in the negative six because uh, you can you can give in negative five like if you want, right? So what what is meaning here is that uh, because your area you want to get your v right, you rearrange q equal to v a, you rearrange your v equal to q divided by a. So a is pi d squared divided by 4 or pi r squared. You're having a diameter of 40 mm. So remember to chain mm into meter. So you get 0.4 square times pi divided by 4. You use a calculator, you press, you will get 1.26, 10 power negative 3. Okay. Now because uh, why I put my q in negative 6? Because when I do... Uh, when I do the division, it's more easier for me. Okay, I okay, straight away put in uh, 10 power negative, uh, 10 power 3 or something. Okay. But anyway, it depends on uh, you, but it's okay you write 10 points, uh, 6.7, 10 power 5. Same, huh? you get the same answer. Also. All right, you, you divide, you get your Q equal to 52.9, 10 power negative 3 meter per second okay once you get your v you substitute everything you get your Reynolds number is 18 something okay 1856 so this one less than 2100 or less than 2000 it is laminar flow any question on these slides any of you you're not clear where is all this number come from Okay, I will continue. Huh? Once you get your Reynolds number, so you can calculate a loss of, you can use a loss of equation uh, to solve for the uh, head loss. You have a uh, Pusilli equation, you have Darcy equation when you have laminar flow. So laminar flow, your friction factor is 16 divided by Reynolds number, or you can use Pusilli equation to solve. So if you use Pusilli equation, it's equal to delta P equal to 1 to 8 mu L Q divided by pi D power 4. So if you don't know or you forget what is Pusilli, go back to the previous lecture and go and find what is Pusilli. Yeah? So delta P equal to 1 to 8 mu L Q divided by, uh, Q divided by pi D squared uh, power 4. Substitute all the value, you get Delta P equal to 907.6 Newton meter square. Newton over meter square. Or is a Pascal, huh? It's a Pascal. Or Newton meter square. All right. Second method. And then you put into the heat loss equation. Heat loss equal to HF equal delta P divided by rho G. Substitute, you get your head loss. Uh, head loss due to factor is 92 10 power 3 meter of water. Okay, HF is head loss. Huh? Head loss. So this question, this to do question, combine what you learned in the previous, I think, previous two lecture. When we cover about Priscilla and then uh, now we look at Moody chart, we look at uh, the friction factor. Okay, you combine these two together 
then you get your hit loss. Right. If you use Darcy equation, you straight away, you know that uh, from Darcy equation, if you are in the laminar condition, you can use away the friction F equal to 16 divided by Reynolds number. So you can straight away use this equation, 4F, uh, 4F L V square D over 2G. You know that your friction using Darcy equation, uh, when it's laminar, you can use F equal to 16 divided by Reynolds number. Or this friction number, you can use uh, a Moody chart also to solve, right? You solve substitute. Eh? You will get uh, 92.4 also. All right. I want to highlight something, uh, pay a little bit more attention. If you look at the screen, you see 4F, right? So, if you use Moody chart, you have Epsilon D, you have Reynolds number, you have F, right? So, uh, you need to be careful when you use uh, Moody chart. Uh, Moody chart, when you use Moody chart, you straight away, uh, you straight away uh, use F in the equation. Okay. Uh, for example, the tutorial question just now, you see the equation, delta P equal to F L divided by D, you see this one? Delta P, F, L, D, and half rho V square. This one, you use a Moody chart. But if you use equation, this one, if you, when you use equation with 4F, you need to be careful. Huh? Don't straight away substitute the F inside here. Here, the Moody chart equal to four times of this equation. So be careful, huh? just, just to take note on this. Okay, so the F will be, if you use e equation or numerical, um, the F you use is 0 0.00862. Uh, so just be careful on this one. Uh, power required, there's an equation to calculate power. Memorize this equation. Power equal to rho g h q. So since you have the uh, friction, uh, heat loss due to friction, you substitute hf, you have the q, you know the g, you know the rho, you have the power in the unit of what? Okay, in the unit of what? 0 0.0605 watt. All right. So what happened if the Q reduce to three liter per minute? You repeat the same. You calculate the Reynolds number. Just now, how you get the V just now? Uh, Dinesh? Can you explain how you get the V from this answer, from this question? How you get the velocity? Uh, from the liters, the liter minutes. Mm, liter minute, what, 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 what is this? What is this uh, 30 liter per minute? What is this? What is the quantity or what is the parameter that defines velocity. it? Huh? This is velocity. Uh? No, no, no. What is this? What is this called? What is this? What is this?
what is Q? F O A. So what is Q? What uh, I'm still I'm still in the same question. What is thirty liter per minute? What 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 do we? What is the name of this parameter? What is you know the velocity velocity is meter per second, right? You know V. V yes, is sir. speed or velocity. What is the what is these things when you define this one as 30 liter per minute? What what does this parameter call? What is Q? We use Q to represent what in this module? Then is what is liter one liter uh one one liter equal to how many meter cube? Uh, zero point zero zero one. Zero point zero zero one. Okay. What is meter cube mean to you? It is uh flow rate. Meter I think Q is flow rate, sir. Q is flow rate, huh? Mm. It's a volume flow rate, huh? Yeah. You have to, uh, Dinesh, you have to be careful when you study flow mechanics. Flow rate doesn't mean anything. Uh. Flow rate, it can be mass flow rate. It can be mass flow rate. It can be volume flow rate. And if you study energy, it can be energy for it. So be careful. You have to be careful and you have to be focused. What is Q? Q is volume for it. All right. So repeat the same. You from the Q, volume for it, VA, you calculate what is the velocity. Repeat the same. Velocity will, 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 will drop to 0.4 meter per second. Calculate the Reynolds number. The Reynolds number uh, will, uh, will become 14035. So you know that the magic number is 4000. So it's more than 4000, then uh, you have a turbulent flow. Okay, once you turbulent flow, you need to use turbulent equation. So uh, you use Darcy equation, you use Moody chart. Uh, you know that um, the surface roughness is given. Okay, surface roughness omega is given. You know that this one is omega or epsilon. You know that Moody chart have three axes. On the side, you take epsilon divided by D. This is Reynolds number. This is friction factor. So you, when you combine left and bottom, you, you project to the left, you get friction factor. So when you calculate epsilon divided by D, you will get 0 0.02 means you get one point on the left hand side, 0 0.002. You already calculated the Reynolds number 1.405. So you go to the bottom of the Reynolds number there, you go and find 1.4 10 power 4. Okay. 1.4, 10 power 4. You combine the vertical line. You combine vertical line and you follow 0 0.02 line, intersect, project to the left, you get your friction factor. Okay. The graph alone contribute 4 to 5 marks huh, in exam. So be careful. So from Moody chart, 
Reynolds number you calculated um, roughness divided by diameter you get 0.2 intersect between these two number in the graph you will get 0 0.006 or you can use uh, equation to prove huh? you can use this equation to prove the value okay you can use Helen equation to prove of course, you can use Karabook, but Karabook is more complex because you have two F in both sides and you need to solve log. But this one is only one side with the log equation, so it's more easier to solve. Okay. So, go back to the slides just now. So, after you get the F, you put into the equation hf equal to 4fl uh, divided by v square 2g you get hf equal to 4.89 meter of water okay so this is how you use it lah. then the power equation still use back the same power equal to rho g hf q you find the hf you substitute you get the power is 24 watt Okay, so if you compare side by side, the next question you can find in a test or exam, you're going to ask you, what is the differences if you increase the Q, the volume flow rate from, or you drop the volume flow rate from four liter per minute into, I think this one is three liter. Uh, let me check the calculation. Oh, the second one is 30. 30. Huh? So you increase the Q and then you see the differences in your calculation. 4 liter per minute to 30 liter per minute. Section A, the power, uh, the Reynolds number, uh, uh, you calculate the P, the P for A is 0 0.06 watt only. The power uh, required to maintain the flow is very low, 0 0.06 watt. However, to maintain uh, 30 liter per minute, you need 24 watt of power to maintain. Okay, just give you a hint. Your coming test two, you'll be required to calculate power. Okay, so this equation is important for you. Okay, just, this is just the explanation. Um, like what I did just now. So if you use calculation, you have uh, HF equal to 4FL divided by D, V squared divided by 2G. And if from the Moody chart, you use as 0 0.02 and from the uh, Reynolds number, you calculate just now, 1.4, 10 power 4, the friction factor you get from the graph is 0.32. So 0.32, uh, you divide by 4, you get 0 0.008. Okay, so you will get 4.89. So when you want to substitute, uh, when you want to use the uh, this equation with 4F, then you need to divide it by 4. Okay, the friction factor you use by 4. Okay, it will take some time to understand these slides. You compare the previous, the previous example, uh, this one. You compare this one, this, this example, by delta P equal to FL divided by D half rho V square this equation and this example you see hf uh, equal to 4f something okay so be careful when you use the the friction equation 
And this, the next one, this example, I will ask you to go and have a look. This one is to put the, the parameter in the JZ formula. Okay, I won't go through this example. I will expect you to go and read. The answer is inside the slides. Okay, I will stop here.